Today you will learn how to paint and weather the 135 Jeep Wellis MB from Tamiya. If you're a beginner, this kit is absolutely perfect for you. It's simple, uh, doesn't have a lot of pieces and, and things like that, so it's a really simple build, but it's a really fun one. So it's uh, probably a kit that I built uh, multiple times uh, so far over my uh, 25 years career, I would say. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a funny build, super easy. And if you want to get into scale modeling, uh, I really recommend this kit. I enjoy so much the World War II history that uh, I will give you some uh, some details about the Willis Jeep. Um, it's uh, officially known as the Willis MB. Uh, it was designed uh, to be a versatile and rugged vehicle that could perform um, a wide range of tasks from uh, transporting troops to serving as an ambulance or even mounting uh, weapons. Um, the Jeep was produced by both uh, Willis Overland, that's what uh, explained uh, the name uh, Willis, and also Ford uh, during the war, and it played a crucial role in uh, the Allied victory. Uh, its production numbers were impressive. It was uh, one of the most vehicle built on the Allied side um, and the number were really impressive uh, with uh, thousands of thousands of this uh, vehicle built over the war. Um, it's, a, it's a four wheel drive capabilities and uh, it's really suitable for uh, off-road uses. So. So it's yeah, it's a nice vehicle. So um, again, if you if you enjoy what I'm doing, um, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Uh, it always helped me. Um, I would say the the most pain for me is to edit uh, the video because uh, for my um, my main job, uh, I'm a welding engineer, so uh, I'm traveling a lot for work and things like that. So I don't have a lot of time to model and also to edit my video so like i said just uh just subscribe and uh like i said i will post a lot of different things that uh, i already have filmed Like every model, I'm trying to add some uh, some features. In this case, I'm using uh, a kit by a Miniature Mantis. It's a uh, bag and tarps and things, uh, specially made for uh, the the uh, Willis Jeep. In this case. Every paint job starts uh, with uh, a good coat of primer. In this case, I'm using Mr. Finishing Surfacer uh, 1500 Black. Uh, this primer has um, absolutely amazing coverage. So um, if you prime your model uh, correctly, uh, your paint jump will be uh, a lot easier after all.
before applying the main color I'm uh, doing some highlights in this case I'm using Vallejo Dectan but uh, you can use uh, some white some uh, some buff some dark sand or something uh, similar like that uh, it's gonna help uh, for your your main color to pop in this case the main color is uh, Vallejo US Olive Drab uh, I don't normally use uh, this color right off the bottle I always mix uh, with uh, some pale paler color I would say um, but uh, since it's uh, a smaller vehicle uh, the color seems to be right so Since I'm applying um, Red of the Ball or the US Olive Drab, uh, I want to do some highlights. So I will mix 80% US Olive Drab with 20% Dark Sand. And I'll uh, just do some, some highlight on, uh, on the edge of the vehicle. So uh, this way you can, have, uh, uh, you can have your model pop a little bit more. And uh, like I said, I light all the, the, the most important part of the vehicle. Let's start with the fun part now, the weathering. The first uh, thing that we will do, uh, we're just going to do some chipping. So we're going to use the stippling method uh, using a sponge. You just uh, basically remove uh, as much paint as possible uh, on a paper towel and you just uh, stipple or I don't know if it's the right way of saying it, but you you just doing some chipping. So that's the first layer of weathering. If you want to buy some color, uh, Vallejo uh, Panzer Aces Dark Rubber, um, basically you're going to use it for tires, for uh, the tank wheels, uh, that uh, you, can, um, you can use it for many, many, many different uh, purposes. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a must have uh, if you want to buy some, uh, some color. Now it's time for the uh, semi-gloss varnishes. Um, you're using varnish because we're gonna use some uh, some washes and we're gonna do some pin wash after that. So uh, to make sure that it's gonna flow uh, properly, uh, a semi-gloss varnish is the way to go.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a really simple and easy model to do, but it's a really fun one. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more video from me.